Keaton Grassy is a normal teen enjoying life, but he's also a meningitis survivor. He was nine years old when he was diagnosed with invasive meningococcal disease, or IMD. Doctors couldn't save his legs, but they saved his life. When I found out Keaton uh, had contracted meningitis, I was absolutely shocked and horrified because I thought I had protected my son with all his immunizations and vaccines from the doctors. I had no idea um, about meningitis and the different strains and you are now able to protect your children, you're able to protect yourself. And I really hope people and parents will listen because their children don't have to go through this. When we talk about invasive meningococcal disease, we're talking about a bacteria that invades the human body very rapidly and seriously. It can either lodge in the brain, causing what's called meningitis, or it can stay in the blood, which causes septicemia or blood poisoning. These are very, very serious and potentially fatal situations. Every year in Canada, there's at least 200 cases of invasive meningococcal disease, which translates to four new cases of invasive meningococcal disease a week in Canada. This is the one that is the most concerning because in extreme cases, people can die within 24 hours or lose their limbs like Keaton. IMD strikes four Canadians every week. Though cases like Keaton's are rare, the risk of spreading meningitis increases during adolescence, when teens are more socially active. The bacteria is carried in the nose and mouth and spread by coughing, sneezing, kissing, or when sharing food, drinks, and lipstick. The Canadian Pediatric Society now recommends that a dose of meningococcal conjugate vaccine be given in early adolescence. Parents should know that invasive meningococcal disease is very serious, very rapidly progressive, and the best way to treat is actually to prevent this condition. There has been a vaccine for years for one strain of meningococcal, it's called C strain, and that's been fairly successful. The last six years, there's also been a vaccine called Menactra, which protects against four out of the five strains, serious strains of meningococcal disease. It's really imperative that parents protect their children with the vaccine that provides the broadest coverage for invasive meningococcal disease. Keaton survived his medical emergency, but many others didn't. You can find out more about meningitis and its prevention by visiting meningitis.ca and by speaking to your doctor. Sherry Demetarko reporting.